Hello everyone. Welcome to Physics Tutorials. My name is Ganga Bhavani. This is session 4 of Fundamentals of Physics. In this session, we are going to see what is dimension and how to write a dimensional formula. Before going to discuss about dimension, we should know about basic physical quantities and basic units, uh, which we have already discussed in session 3. If you want to know clearly about basic quantities, please go ahead and watch my session 3 video. Okay, there are mainly seven basic physical quantities and basic units as we discussed earlier. Those are also called fundamental physical quantities which are mass, length, time, temperature, current, amount of substance and luminous intensity. So all the physical quantities of interest can be derived from these basic physical quantities. When a quantity is expressed in terms of these basic physical quantities and it is written as a product of different powers of the basic quantities. So the exponent of a basic quantity that enters into the expression is called the dimension of the quantity in that base. Let me give an example. Let's take a physical quantity speed and we all know speed equals to distance by time and I'm writing speed equals to instead of distance length by time. So here the dimensions of speed are one in length minus one in time. So what about the dimensions of speed in all other uh, basic physical quantities? So the dimensions of speed in all other basic quantities are zero. While we are calculating dimensions for any physical quantities, the magnitudes are not considered. It is equality of the type of quantity that enters like uh, change in speed, initial speed or final speed or displacement, whatever, all are equivalent in this discussion. Okay. Let's see how to write the dimensional formula. Uh, before going to discuss about that, I want to represent every basic physical quantities by one letter symbols for our convenience like this. So I've taken all the basic physical quantities and units for all these quantities and the symbols what we are going to use for this basic physical quantities. Uh, so a physical quantity which we can express in terms of the basic quantities is enclosed in square brackets to remind that the equation is among the dimensions and not among the magnitudes. Let me give an example. Let's take a physical quantity force and we all know force equals to mass into acceleration and I'm writing mass into instead of acceleration velocity by time and mass into again instead of velocity displacement by time divided by time. So I can get the dimensions of force are one in mass one in length and minus two in time. So now I'm writing the dimensional formula for force in terms of basic physical quantities mass length time that will be f equals to ml t power minus two. Such an expression which we uh, such an expression for a physical quantity in terms of the basic quantities is called dimensional formula. While calculating the dimensional formula or uh, while calculating the dimensions for any physical quantity, pure numbers are dimensionless. Dimension does not depend on the magnitude. So the dimensional, a dimensionally correct equation need not be actually correct, but dimensionally wrong equation must be wrong. Let me give an example. Now I have taken a physical relation S equals to ut plus half ut square. Now I want to check this relation dimensionally correct or not. So if I want to check whether this relation is dimensionally correct or not, I have to write the dimensional formula for each and every term in this relation. So here I am writing the dimensional formula for every term in the equation. The dimensional formula for S is L. So if I write the dimensional formula for ut, that will also be L. And if I write the dimensional formula for half at square, and we can get the final as L. And final resultant, we can get the dimensional formula for every term in the relation is same. So the relation, the physical relation, what we have taken as equals ut plus half at square is dimensionally correct. And here half is a numerical factor. It is dimensionless. So dimensionally S equals to ut plus at square is also correct. So like this we can calculate dimensions and we can write the dimensional formula and we can also check a physical relation whether it is dimensionally correct or not. Hope you all got the clarity about a dimension. Hope you like the video. See you soon 